What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're in one of my favorite locations. Got a little bit of off-road Florida scenery in the background because guess what? We have that one off-road vehicle everybody's talking about. This is it, the return, the all-new 2021 Ford Bronco. But before we get into this bigger Bronco off-road style vehicle, let's talk about what's going on here. The Bronco. That nameplate has been in Ford's lineup first appearing all the way back in 1966. That's really where it made a name for itself for that GOAT, that go over any terrain type of vehicle. Over the decades, the Bronco has changed shape, the Bronco has changed size, the Bronco has also changed associations, especially when it comes to things that happen in the news. Wink, wink. But you know what, for 2021, Ford wanted to bring the Bronco name back and they wanted to do it in a way that literally they say that there is a Bronco for everybody. Not only are there tons of trims for the bigger Bronco, but then if you don't want to go big, if you want something a little bit more everyday kind of livable, you could go with the Ford Bronco Sport. Now, when it comes to trims, we have the black diamond and where that's going to fall is right in the sweet spot of the lineup, right after the Big Ben trim and right before the Outer Banks trim. What this black diamond really is, is the diamond in the rough. And when we say the rough, we're talking about the off-road kind of roughness because it comes with those off-road goodies that people are gonna want as they're going towards that terrain where other vehicles might get stuck. Ford says this Bronco will do the business. Now, everybody and their mother, of course, is comparing this Bronco to the Jeep Wrangler, specifically the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Jeep's been in business for about 80 years, but you know what? We've already compared it to the Wrangler in another review. What I wanna do is I wanna find out, is this the best off-road vehicle? And what we're gonna compare it to is the mighty Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. So without further ado, let's dive into our Cyber Orange. We're here in Florida, the state of all those oranges. We have some orange goodness here. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's dive into our Cyber Orange Bronco and find out which is better. Right off the bat, I think whoever designed this Bronco from the exterior or the group of Ford designers needs to get high fives, hugs, and all sorts of special gifts for the holidays because they did a perfect job when it comes to the classic style. So when you go Black Diamond, you're automatically gonna get those wide flare fenders. And you'll see as we go around the vehicle, that these fenders have a specific purpose. Nice flat black, gonna take a good beating. Another touch of the black diamond trim is you're getting a front modular bumper. Love this style, I'm gonna show you a little bit more of that in a second. Out back, when we get to the tail of the business, you got a steel rear bumper. But let's talk about more about the front end and what's going on. So the way that they did the headlight design, LED headlights, it's got that classic round look to it the way the turn signals kind of bleed into the center of the grill. Like I said, from a million miles away, this looks like one of those 1966 Broncos, but with a 21st century spin. You're gonna have these raised areas on the fenders. This actually could take up to 150 pounds of weight, one on each side. And then as we come across the front grill, I like on our Cyber Orange, the flat black with the bright white Bronco name. It's almost like a creamsicle. The cream in the center of our creamsicle ice pop, but really pops literally from that background of the grill. Fully functional up top. As we drop down, like I said, we got the front modular bumpers. Love the way they got the cutouts. Shows that nice off-road identity. We have these massive tow hooks. Maybe you're going to pull a Wrangler out. Maybe you're going to pull a 4Runner TRD Pro. Maybe even a Ford Raptor you're gonna yank out of the dirt. You could do it with this vehicle with those massive uh, tow hooks. And then up front in the center, you'll also notice that you actually have active shutters and an intercooler because we have turbocharged power on this Bronco. Now, besides the bumpers, what we're gonna find on this black diamond, you hear that? That's a bloody knuckle that's being banged against metal steel plates all the way, those bash plates, all the way underneath to protect us from the big boulders, those sharp rocks, protect all the inner bits. 
Another thing you're gonna notice is that the black diamond actually sits about an inch and a half higher than your standard big Bronco. What that means is 11.6 inches of ground clearance. I literally could get a, a mattress and lay under this and keep myself in the shade right underneath this Bronco. Just something to think about if you wanna hide from somebody and take a nap at the same time. Now, when we get up onto that hood, I like the boldness. I love the nice squared off edges. You'll notice you get a nice bulge. Something that every person wants is that bigger bulge close towards the windshield. Everything cyber orange. As we come around the bend, those massive flared fenders, I wasn't lying. There's a reason why we have those for these amazing off-road wheels. So when you go Black Diamond, this one has the Sasquatch package. Yes, Bigfoot, because we do have four big feet on our particular Bronco. Love the beadlock wheel. That is something that has been designed for off-roading. The gloss black with the Bronco logo. Nice aluminum finish all the way around. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of this tire? These Goodyear Wrangler tires are 35 inch tires. Massive on that 17 inch uh, wheel, 315 on the width, meaty 70 series sidewall. And one thing I wanna point out is this is a Goodyear Wrangler tire, but Ford got Goodyear to drop the Wrangler name because of the competition. So it just says Goodyear, Goodyear. Normally it should say Goodyear Wrangler, but you'll see just how beefy the sidewall is to take that beating from all the rocks, the stones, the gravel, the chips. Maybe you're driving over a Wrangler uh, or two. Suspension, you'll see with that lift, you can clearly see the upper control arm, all the suspension bits. The Black Diamond comes with Bilstein dampers, all four corners, that German brand of shock absorber company takes all the shock out of driving this off that over road, you know, over and through the off-road terrain, but I like the way that with the extra lift, you can clearly see everything. Coming down the sides, that classic fender. This almost looks like a fender right off of a 1966 Bronco. Each Bronco gets its badge of honor. So this one, like I said, Black Diamond with the Sasquatch package. You can even see there's Sasquatch. See, he's real, he's out there. He's gonna wanna ride with you in this thing. You'll just have to take the roof off, which you can. Flat black on the mirror caps. Of course, they fold in very easily. You do have your standard antenna. And then it's kind of interesting how they took the design and actually just had it flow nicely right into that front area in front of the windshield. Remember, everything is gonna come off on this Bronco. So doors come off, roof comes off. We have our color molded, uh, molded roof, that hard top roof. And then you'll also notice the rock sliders along the frame. Like I said, this really is that true off-road version. Sliding down, the rock sliders are gonna help you slide over the rocks. Flat black on the door handles. Everywhere else is flat black, and I like that. No gloss black, not gonna, uh, you know, get all scratched up too easily. You can see the nice flat roof design. We do have the four door, you can get it in a two door. We will be bringing you that shortly here on Rady's Rides. Working our way towards the rear, nice large quarter window. Like I said, all of this comes off. That's the one thing that if you're gonna go Forerunner TRD Pro, you got a sunroof. That's it. You can't take the doors off, you can't take the roof off. You got a sunroof. So something that you gotta think about if you're gonna look at the Forerunner TRD Pro or look at this Bronco. And then coming around the back, of course they did that retro style design with the taillights. It's got the B, the letter B there to signify Bronco. Love the work that they did on the horse. Whoever designed that also needs a high five and a big hug. And then to give it that classic look, you got your spare wheel and tire on the back. Of course, when it comes to opening it, you're just gonna swing it open very easily, close it, and then as we drop it like it's hot, ours has the optional full tow package. Nicely done, you got all your connectivity for your trailer. We got the rear tow hooks, and then you have electronic locking diffs, both front and rear. Those Dana diffs, both front and rear are electric lockers, but why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our Bronco. All right guys, we got that big broad hood open up. You do have a prop rod, I'm not gonna zonk it because guess what, 4Runner TRD Pro has a prop rod, also the Jeep Wrangler has a prop rod. But the great news is, unlike the 4Runner TRD Pro, you have two engine choices 
that you get to decide what to drop in your Ford Bronco. The standard engine is a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine, that inline four turbocharged engine, but guess what? We have the larger of the two, so that means we have the V6 twin turbocharged engine. So that is a three liter EcoBoost engine, 330 horsepower, 415 pound-feet of torque. So if you're comparing that horsepower-wise to the 4Runner TRD Pro, you're blowing it out of the water horsepower and torque-wise. It's made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission. The 4Runner TRD Pro cuts that in half with a 5-speed automatic transmission. Zero to 60, even with the larger tires, zero to 60 in about 6.8 seconds, quarter mile, in about 15.3 seconds. And then if you're wondering, well, Joe, what kind of MPGs? You're basically looking at 17 in the city, 17 on the highway. The vehicle can tow up to 3,500 pounds and weighs in a tick under 5,000 pounds, the way that this particular one is optioned. But I'm so glad to see the choice. You can even go, if you go 2.3 liter EcoBoost, you could go with a seven speed manual transmission, which a manual is not even offered on the 4Runner TRD Pro. But we got this V6 EcoBoost. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's fire it up and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside this 2021 Ford Bronco. I'm calling it Sunny D. It really reminds me of the color of a nice, large glass of tasty Sunny D. Used to have that in the morning when I was a kid every single day. But anyways, flashback time is over. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, how much is this Bronco? I've been wanting to put an order in. There are zero on the lots. Some of my friends have been waiting over a year for theirs. How much is this particular one? Just so I get an idea. So this one, the way that it's optioned, black diamond trim, you're looking at an MSRP, a little over $48,000. Let's see what you're gonna get for your hard-earned money. To the door panels. Now remember, the door panels are able to be taken right off and Ford did a good job with what they brought in a way. So you have the two different colors of plastic, the gray with the flat black. The problem is it's all hard black plastic easy to keep clean just not comfortable really to rest your arm on it now the armrest is very small but it does have a little bit of softness to it i do like the texture design that they did on the door handle to pull that close and just like on the jeep wrangler you're going to get the nets now i understand the purpose of the nets to keep the door panel light as you can see we were able to fit three twinkies in there off-road twinkies without busting any cream everywhere anywhere in here and like I said, easy to clean door panels and they come right off. Now going from the door panel to the dash, same story. Hard plastic, but they did put some nice oh crap handles, one on each side, one for the passenger, one for the driver. It's interesting how they took the AC vent and kind of sunk it in there. It's got the shape of a B, why? Bronco, that's why, B's for Bronco. Like the way they stamped that name in there. I am going to have to zonk though. The amount of hard black plastic in here but the great news is you do have these little tray areas especially the center one if you like to have your twinkie nice and warm that golden brown delicious treat extra warm you could put two here they won't slide out and you can get them nice and toasty for when you're done going down your off-road trails another thing that's very well designed is where they have placed all the switch gear for the diffs so like i said this has the optional electronic front locking diff rear diff all the other buttons there, nice rubber finish to them. And then as we drop down, what are you getting? You're getting an eight inch infotainment system. Now, eight, if eight inches doesn't make your life easy, if eight inches doesn't make your life happy or filled with joy, 
you can get a 12 inch infotainment system. Now the good news is whether you go eight inch or 12 inch, you're getting the updated SYNC 4 system. Touch screen capability. Let me show you some of the cool features. You could go into towing. We could tow up to 3,500 pounds. If you're new to towing, what's awesome is, is they actually have a step-by-step -step on what you need to do to set up all your towing so that you don't forget a step and then the next thing you know your trailer's disconnected and it's falling off a cliff near the Grand Canyon. Ford's got your back. You could go into your different settings here, adjust everything all by the touch of a screen. Look how sync 4, look how fast smooth reacting it is. Very intuitive system, but like I said, the 8-inch is a very uh, you know, simple simplified design that they got going on here. You could adjust all the uh, increments of units and of course, we also do have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto with that Sync 4. Let me throw it into reverse. There's our backup camera, and the great news is it takes up all eight inches, and the resolution is actually pretty clear. Plus, we also have the trajectory lines. I think the one thing I'm really missing on an off road trim where is our forward facing camera? That is a little bit of a bummer to me not to have that, but that you do have your start stop button easy to get to. I like the way that they designed this to look like the headlight housing. That shows you the thoughts and that's what Ford really brings that retro design really nicely to the table. You got all your switch gear and knobs for radio controls, standard AC, blower fan speed, temperature speed. Look at the way they did the recirculating with an actual Bronco right there. They could have put a car, they didn't. They put the image of a Bronco. Down below we have the official Ford Twinkie tray Fit for Twinkies, off-road Twinkies, remember, make sure you get those. Those are special at the store, USB-C and a USB. I like the way it's got the VIN plate here with the Ford name and everything all. Makes it feel extra special. We got another oh crap handle. So your passenger gets two handles. You only get one, but that makes sense because you're driving. If you're holding on to two handles, you got a problem. That's what they call it in off-roading terms. You got a problem if you're holding on to these handles and not the wheel. Shifter, this is gonna control that 10 speed automatic. I like the way they put the little image of the Bronco, the bucking Bronco up there. Two cup holders, key fob, it's got the Bronco name. I like the way they did that instead of putting the Ford logo there. Flip it around, lock and unlock. Now obviously you could get keyless entry on a higher trim, but this one does not have it. But what it does have right there, GOAT. Greatest of all time, possibly. Go over any terrain, heck yeah. Two high, four high, four automatic, and four low. You got your hill descent control. And then just like the Jeep Wranglers, because we could take the doors off, you got your switch gear for the windows. Now I am gonna zonk this, does not feel as high of quality as the Jeep Wrangler switches. Their switches are up here at the front. Switches on the Bronco are at the back. This is gonna adjust your mirrors. Soft on the armrest, open it up, whoa! You got a going away gift for your uh, passenger that doesn't puke on the off-road journey. Give them that Twinkie. And then you have enough room in here for a full box and a family size bag of Twizzlers. Put it back, close it up. Seats, vinyl material, easy to clean, soft, and they look good. It's got the Bronco stamped in the back there. Like the way they did the design. Really gonna give you some nice comfort. Manual controls for the passenger and the driver. And then up top, what do we got? auxiliary switches. You want to get some additional rigid industry lights, you want a winch, now you can hook it all up and have it wired into these toggle switches instead of doing some type of JC Whitney catalog switch that you kind of screw up and drill into your dash the wrong way. All roof panels are going to come right off and it's real simple. You just actually take the handles, twist them, they're going to lift right off. You do have space in the back to put all these panels. And then the big thing that I like is actually down below. Check it out. We actually have full rubber flooring. No rugs, no carpet, and we got the drain plug. So you get all the mud in here, you get all the dirt. I'm going to say that that's a smart move, especially if somebody tossed their cookies. Say you're doing some extra crazy trail, and one of the uh, non-off-road people in your family tosses their cookies all over the place. Just get the hose and wash those cookies right down the drain. But why don't you get your cookie over here? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Bronco. Hi right, guys, this is the business time. This is time to get into the saddle, up on the saddle, get up on the horse, 
of this Bronco. Now our saddle does have manual controls. You're just gonna twist these knobs to make adjustments, adjust the handles here. Steering wheel, love the leather touch, nice soft leather. Horn button is kind of simple, but you do have that Bronco to stare at all day long and some nice flat gray finish flat black on the buttons. It is a tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And what are you going to get? You're going to get some digital screen display and an analog speedometer. So analog speedometer with a digital bar graph for your temperature. Then you could scroll through a bunch of information when it comes to readouts so that you know what's going on. You can do power delivery transfer, power distribution, check out your tire pressure, all of those things. Nice and intuitive, such a variety. It's like the variety pack of gauges. I'll be honest, not my favorite instrumentation. I wish it had a little bit more classic Bronco layout to the instrumentation, but the great news is headroom, plenty. And if you are seven feet tall and the size of the Jolly Green Giant, just ride without the roof on and you will be good to go. But let's see how your passengers are gonna fare in the back seat of this four-door Bronco. All right, guys, back seat time. And this is where, with this Bronco, you could really share the fun with all of your friends because you have that four-door flexibility. I'm six feet tall. Thank God this roof line is nice and flat because if it sunk down just a little bit, my head would be hitting it, but plenty of room up top. Obviously, all the panels come off. Backs of the seats have that molly so that you could actually hook all sorts of things on the back. Maybe have your hand sanitizer, your sunscreen, maybe like a, a little bit of a, a, a timer for when you gotta take your motion sickness pills. Little cargo net on the back, just like on the Wrangler. And then for a command center, first of all, it tells you this is not a step. So please remember that piece of advice from Ford and Rady's Rides, no step. You have your window controls inboard and way down below, we got a USB-C and a USB. So it's nice that they have that connectivity. No floor mats to worry about for the front, for the rear. And there's drain plugs in the back. There's those drain plugs, open them up, get all the puke out as your passengers yak all over the place. I feel pretty good. I got a nice old crap panel here. No, no armrest for the backseat passengers. So my advice is whoever, whoever's puking, as they're kind of hunched over, throwing up, just rest your arm on their back. But while we go ahead, speaking of back, let's get into the back cargo area and see what we could haul in this Bronco. All right, guys, time to get in the cargo area. Now, just realize that if you are going to parallel park this in the city, there's going to be an issue if you want to open this up because if you have a car behind you, it's going to be a tight fit. But swinging it out nice and wide, lifting up the rear glass, you come on in. How much room are we looking at? First of all, I love the height of the area of the space in there. Very, very tall. You're looking at 35 cubic feet of space with the seats up. Fold the seats down because we have a four door. We'll give you 83 cubic feet of space. Obviously those numbers are gonna be different if you're buying a regular two door Bronco. Now on the driver's side, looks can be deceiving. Have you ever, have you ever had somebody tell you that before? That slot right there looks like it could fit a box of Twinkies. It will not. You'll have to just put a handful of them in there. The one zonk I'm going to have to give is the backs of the seats. So the black diamond, like I said, comes with the rubber floor mats, the rubber cargo mat. The back of the seats have carpet on it. That doesn't make sense to me. That seems like that was not intended for this vehicle. You do have a nice little storage area on the passenger side. Fit that family size of Sour Patch Kids. And then if you're wondering, well, Joe, where am I going to put my Twinkies and other snacks? Easy. Lift it up. Look what we got. Enough room for a whole box of Twinkies. There's Twinkie the Kid ready to go off-roading in the Bronco. He's ready to climb on that horse. And you have a bag, a big old bag, Texas-sized bag of Skittles. But you know what? If you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's get our spurs on and our boots and go for a little on-throttle rodeo action in this Bronco. All right, guys, we're inside this 2021 Sun-Kissed Orange. No, not really. It's called Cyber Orange Ford Bronco Black Diamond Trim. And right away, what I love when you're behind the wheel of this vehicle is you feel like you're in a Bronco. You're not going to confuse the driving experience 
and especially the experience going down the road as people stare at it saying wow there's one of those new broncos you're not going to confuse that definitely with a jeep wrangler or especially the forerunner trd pro now you're probably hearing a lot of road and a lot of wind noise well your ears are not deceiving you because remember we have those 35 inch off-road tires and we have the removable doors and roof so that's going to allow a little bit more wind noise and definitely the off-road style tires are going to give us some more road noise now the interesting thing is i kind of like the fact that we're going that we are driving it on the regular roads because i feel like a lot of people this is what their daily commutes are going to be nobody's going to just use this for off-road only maybe there's about five percent of the population out there most of the people are going to take this as their a to b transportation but make it a vehicle that's fun to drive and has that Bronco name. Now the good news is you're not gonna be hurting for power. Having that EcoBoost three liter, that twin turbo V6 gives you plenty of power and you got the ability to tow with this. So if you got a nice wave runner, a jet ski or something like that, this will do the business for you. Steering feel is actually a little bit more spot on than the Jeep Wrangler. The, with the Wrangler, you're always kind of correcting that dead center feel to it. But with the Bronco, having the multi-link independent front suspension really up front allows you to have better steering feel. But I'm gonna actually slow down here. We're gonna go on throttle. On throttle, here we go. 10 speed drops down and we are off. Nice smooth shifts. Doesn't sound the sexiest, but it really probably doesn't matter because the wind noise and the road noise is actually louder than the sound from the engine. That's one thing that I think that I think that is great is the sound off the 4Runner TRD Pro, especially because you're getting a catback exhaust. That TRD catback exhaust gives that V6 a little bit more growl to it. And don't even get me started about the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392. We know what that sounds like here on Radies Rides. But you are getting that full-time four-wheel drive system. And what's nice is it gets the power to the ground very effectively. Reaching to the eight-inch infotainment system, it's within arm's reach, very intuitive and easy, easy to use. And the seats overall are pretty comfy. I think the Forerunner TRD Pro seats I like a little bit more. It all really depends on who you ask because I know some people that don't like the Forerunner TRD Pro seats. So it's one of those things. I'm not going to mention their name, but they know who they are. But driving it in traffic, you're not getting a bunch of body roll all over the place, which is nice, which you're going to expect some because you are in a lifted off-road vehicle, but uh, still does a, a great job with handling and braking as well. But let's uh, toss her into a right-hand turn here. I'm gonna switch lanes on the brakes. You got perfect visual reference points out the front. Here we go, on throttle. Yeah! Ride the rodeo. So, very, very smart of Ford to have the two engine choices. I can't wait to try the manual transmission. Remember, it's a six-speed with that optional extra gear that is a crawler gear, manual gearbox. Looking at the dash, it's easy to read for the most part. Like I said, I think what would have been awesome is to have more of a little bit retro style design with the gauges, have an analog tag, the analog speedometer, and then a little bit smaller digital display in the center. I think that would have been the cherry on top. Well, why don't we go ahead, let's get this thing on the highway because like I said, you're gonna have to get to the off-road areas to drive. Let's see what it feels like at highway speeds. All right, guys, on throttle, getting on the highway. I'm telling you, the 10 speed is very, very smart. It knows exactly how many gears to drop down. It's not chasing through the gearbox. And now here we are on the highway, and I'm gonna be quiet for a little bit. So you can hear the amount of noise coming into the cabin. I think on a longer highway trip, 
I would probably wear earplugs to be honest with you just because of the amount of noise but it's one of those things you want removable roof and doors you want off-road tires you're gonna have a compromise to make and that's what uh, all relationships are about is about compromise but hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what the new Bronco is about especially this black diamond trim first time bringing you the black diamond trim we're gonna bring you the rest don't you worry your little head but we are gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up so I will see you in a split second right, guys it's been a rodeo kind of day with this new Ford Bronco first off I got to thank Rhonda and the rest of the Ford team for allowing Radies Rides access to this press fleet vehicle let me know what you think did Ford do enough to make this Bronco specifically the one that we're talking about the black diamond with the Sasquatch package is that the off-road vehicle to buy or would you rather put your money on a 4Runner TRD Pro put it in the comment section I'm dying to know which way you would put your money and what you would want to drive on a regular basis but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out hit that subscribe button I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more if you are a subscriber thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family if you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel click the link in the description get yourself some Radies Rides merch we got to give it up to the queen behind the camera the best videographer in all of YouTube she's no rodeo clown she is the rock and gets the job done show Lori some love in that comment section thank you Lori for all that you do and just like always guys I'll see you on the next ride